Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to be joined by Fire Chief John Carnes from Ashland Fire and Rescue. John, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to be here. Our pleasure. So tell us about the AIR program and what you got going on here. Well, the AIR program is part of our strategy for improving emergency preparedness uh, throughout Southern Oregon. And it is a citizen-based emergency preparedness workshop. It's our second annual one. Mm -hmm. And we're having it on November 1st at the historic Ashland Armory in Ashland. Okay, and there are two sessions, correct? There is, for uh, the early risers, nine to noon, mm -hmm. and then we have one, one to four. Okay, and, and so tell us a little bit, uh, maybe more in depth, of what kind of things people will learn at this. Yeah, there's really three components of this workshop. The first is we are bringing in a number of subject matter experts to talk about our uh, hazard plan, what risks they can expect to prepare for, uh, how those uh, hazards may impact them. We have a number of presenters. We're also going to have vendors that will have equipment, supplies, or just knowledge that they might uh, gain some benefit from. Some of the utility vendors, some of our uh, the Red Cross, mm -hmm. one of our local hardware stores. There'll be a, a small contractor that will show how to do some things around the house that can help prepare their home for an emergency. And lastly, when the participants leave, they'll be getting a 72-hour kit that they can take with them. And is this a 72-hour kit? This here? is a 72-hour kit. That, wow, that's the actual small. one. <laughs> it is. The idea is that they can put it, say, in the trunk of their car uh, to always be prepared, or they can use it really as a starter kit for home, a sustenance kit, if you mm -hmm. will. Uh, we actually like the home kit to be a little more robust and, and uh, designed for a longer term, but it's a start. Yeah, it's something that yeah, right. you never know how long it could be. And, and what in particular uh, are you, can, you know, maybe concerned about or what kind of disasters are we talking about here? Well, we all know fire and floods are, are a potential here, but one of my big concerns are, is our seismic risks, our earthquakes. Um, earthquakes are not real uh, common here, therefore it really falls off folks' radar screen. But we know that the Cascade, uh, uh, Cascadia subduction zone uh, will fail every three to four hundred years. The last mm -hmm. one was uh, 1700. Yeah. So it's out there and can happen at any time. And really I think Southern Oregon, a lot due to uh, building codes and that, we're really at a high risk and I'd like to uh, impress upon the folks it's time to get prepared. All right, very good. We're going to take a quick break. We'll have much more with Chief in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. We're going to here with Ashland Fire Chief John Carnes. So, John, you've got this air program event coming up, and people, you, you want people to register for this, correct? Yes, please. We have limited seats, 200 per session, mm -hmm. and we're about half filled. If they just want to call Ashland Fire and Rescue, 482-2770, or they can come by Station 1 and register either way. Okay, and, and there is a $10 fee associated, but that includes this bag of goodies, right. if you will. That's correct. $10 to register, and you will get this kit. It takes us about $30, $35 to put this kit together, so it's a bargain. Okay, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> All right, and, uh, and so you're talking about this is a 72-hour kit, and that's Correct. what people will be getting at the event. Uh, what should people know in the event of a disaster? You know, how, sh how should they prepare? What kind of stuff, food, water, how much do they need at home to prepare? Yeah, 72 hours is definitely a minimum. Uh, okay. For a home kit, we like to think that a week to two is more appropriate. And there's really four steps for preparation, we like to say. Be informed. Know what's going on around you. The weather alerts that NOAA or a number of other organizations can give you. Uh, that's important. Register on the citizen alert system that Jackson County has, the, mm -hmm. the mass notification system. Have a plan with your family. Know what you're going to do, where you're going to go if an emergency occurs. And um, also, we like to remind people to text, not talk, mm -hmm. during an emergency, that you can uh, successfully text uh, communication much easier than you can talk. Just the bandwidth that's required is much easier uh, mm -hmm. to do that. Um, build a kit like we have here and we mm -hmm. provide at the uh, workshop and also get involved. Get involved in CERT, uh, map your neighborhood. There's a number of uh, volunteer organizations, Red Cross. Uh, those are the four steps we like to encourage people to do. Yeah, and, and you mentioned to me during the break uh, the hot water heaters. That, that is, I think you said, a gallon of water a day per right. person, but thankfully you do have that at your... Everybody has a hot water heater, and if you secure that, disconnect the inlet water, whatever water's there, you've got that for your use. That's a good tip right there. Chief, thank you very much. Thanks good so much. Appreciate it. it. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.